So I want to tell you a little bit about our hampers that we have created here in the Burn Smokehouse. It started as a response to COVID and also as a response to some producers having really difficulty with lack of sales, like ourselves. You know, all our tourism is gone, food service is down the drains, but at least we've got some energy with um, a, a few producers that are part of the Burn Ecotourism Network and the Burn Food Network. We chose these partners uh, to create a hamper, a unique hamper that can be sent in Ireland and also so we chose uh, Centola Goat Cheese and they were very much part of the process and uh, Siobhan is part of the World Food Trade and we worked collaboratively um, for a long time. So we have a Centola Divine, a Greek uh, style goat cheese, uh, a feta, beautiful and um, also we worked with Market House who's just in MS Diamond, not far away. They will do a lovely black and white pudding. They're also part of the Burn Food Trail. Then we spoke to Kathleen down in uh, on the Corkstra Hill from the Burn Fine One and Food. And she did a beautiful beetroot chutney for us, and especially for us, which was great. We just asked her to come up with something and said beetroot chutney. I said, yes, that would go perfect with both the goat's cheese and also the salmon. And then, of course, Alvi Caves, the beautiful uh, Gouda and a range of flavours. And we chose the garlic and nettle, it comes actually from around where the, the, um, the caves so are. So, just very, very local produce. So, we added them in our cold smoked and cold smoked salmon together in a basket. Uh, that can be shipped within Ireland next day Close to the UBS uh, for anywhere in Europe. We decided to okay. go for a slightly bigger version and um, we kept the market house black and white pudding, the garlic and nettle and gouda, the beetroot and we added the Santola gold seed log. This is a beautiful ash log, um, 500 gram. Then we add our smoked salmon yeah. also then realized that actually you know people want to send it to the US as gifts to friends, to, to birthdays or get well or so we haven't seen it for a long time won't be able to travel <laughs> this year perhaps you know um, and I uh, wanted to say hello so we put together something that can be sent to US and Canada again 50 euro uh, the, we collaborated with some more people that are part of the Burn Food Trail and uh, one of them is Stonecutter's Kitchen we asked Karen and Miles and Karen particularly to come up with a brown soda bread mix and she did and she actually had a, it's interesting because it was, she'd been thinking about it. Uh, we also spoke to Sam Hayden and Robin McCauley in the uh, Regan's Castle and they made a beautiful granola. I have been actually staying there in the boats probably down the road and the granola. And then so we went back to Kathleen and said would you come up with something that's more breakfasty so because it's the bar and breakfast basket. So she did a rhubarb and ginger jam, and uh, we added that on. And then, of course, the again the garlic nettle, uh, garlic and nettle, bar and gold cheese, um, all put it and and it together. And then some smoked salmon, the cold smoked and hot smoked salmon. So all these products uh, can be a breakfast bagel. You know, you can make your brown bread and put some cheese and and or jam or salmon on it. And while you're having your so that's the gift service that we, we do here and uh, uh, particularly select local produce from our friends and from the people that are part of the Burn Food Trail and the Burn Ectors Network. So send that from the Burn Smokehouse and if you want to order them you can go into burnsmokehouse.ie or burnsmokehouse.com, same website. And they're all there, so you can you can order them there. And so and apart from these baskets here that we have made it up especially for you, if you want to, if there's items that you you want to of or add on more, uh, or make a completely new hamper for yourself, you can go onto the website and there's the, all these products are available individually. You can actually make up your own hamper it's basket. It's an amazing opportunity for us because we also have lost a lot of business with more visitors coming here as well as 
food service dropping off. So, so it's been very valuable and then we want to really actually thank everybody who's been supporting us uh, with getting hampers sent to their loved ones.